What's going on guys, it's Misfit1 and 2. Today we're just going to kind of give our closing thoughts on the 240 Bravo made by Matrix. A um, couple bullet points we're going to go through. Things we didn't like, which is kind of hard to really talk about because there's not much that we didn't like. But just, just for the purpose of putting it out there and you know giving constructive criticism, we're going to try to talk about things we didn't like and reasons not to buy the gun. Also things that we did like and reasons to buy the gun. So yeah, let's get started. Um, first, let's talk about the things that we didn't like. Uh, why don't you go first? Uh, let's see, the fact that Echo 1 rebranded the gun. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that, and Echo 1 makes guns, but they don't. They uh, rebranded a Golden Eagle, or JG gun, and called it their own. So I guess it doesn't really pertain to this gun so much, but more so to the Echo 1 gun. And I'd say don't buy that and buy this instead. Right. It's kind of like the principle of it, too, like, that, you know, you really think that we're that fucking stupid. You're just rebranding shit and, you know, and putting a huge price tag on it and everything. Um, one of the things I didn't like, personally, were uh, some of the polymer materials on, on the gun, like the stock was kind of cheap, cheaply made to me. Um, but that's that's just me. It still did the, it still did the job. Seems like it won't break. Seems like it's pretty good, but if I had to say something about the gun that I didn't like, it would be that. All right, so uh, how about things you do like? What did you like about it? Everything. It held up great during the game. Um, as you see, I didn't I didn't baby it through the game. I, I used it like a gun, like a two forty. Right. Um, I like the range. I think that the range was outstanding for a stock gun, especially... Uh, Double Eagle or JG Gun. Golden Eagle. Or Golden Eagle, whatever the hell. I don't know how it's called. <laughs> but it's, especially for a cheap... It's not even cheap. A Chinese gun, I should say. A Chinese gun. It, it did pretty well with the range. Um, and actually, I was telling Bradley, I was like, I don't know if you should flat hop it. Uh, you might lose that range, you know. But you might get better. I don't know. I'm really not sure. But the range is pretty good uh, with, and, um, with the rate of fire, too, as well. And also the fact that it was lightweight, and as you can see, well, you're walking on a fucking car because it's lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, it's easy to maneuver and shit like that. So you know that that was definitely something that I like. Um, how about reasons to buy? It's a 240. Why wouldn't you want to buy a 240? Everybody wants a 240. Duh. Right. <laughs> Most definitely. And um, I think that this gun is actually a really good platform to um, do a Polestar build, or HPA, I shouldn't say Polestar, it's a different time and age now, everybody doing HPA off of, you know, alternative solutions and stuff like that, other than Polestar. So, I think uh, this is a good base gun, which, matter of fact, you're doing yourself with yeah, the, yeah, yeah Polestar, Doing right? the Polestar right now, just uh, dropped in the Fusion engine a couple days ago, and... Just waiting on a HPA tank. Yep, yep. So look for that later on. Uh, but other than that, yeah, so I think it's a, a good base. I mean, the fact that it's light and, you know, at the same time durable, good range. I don't really see why not to buy it. But for the purposes of constructive criticism, we have a category of reasons not to buy. <laughs> so, and the reason would be the price tag. That's just pretty much the issue here right i mean how much was it oh, 599 dollars and 54 cents i believe see it was so bad that he memorized it down to the cents he's like <laughs> every fucking cent on this thing matters <laughs> but um yeah it the price tag is just pretty bad i don't know I, I, like when we first started airsofting uh how much did you say it was what the gun yeah Five ninety nine fifty. Five ninety nine would have been like never like what five ninety nine. I guess I'm not getting that, you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, just like how the Barrett was to us, when, you know, when we first started. The or, SOCOM gear or the yeah, Snowball. The SOCOM gear, you know, or the um, right. The minigun. Minigun's still no, out of range. Minigun still. It's three but, grand, but that's a different story. That's yeah. a different topic altogether. Yeah, but being six hundred, it might as well be three grand at that time. Right. Been like I'm not getting it either way. Um, so it's pretty cool that. You, you know we can afford it now but for the the price tag is fucking 
it's steep. It's like for a first time gun, I, I wouldn't recommend it mainly because well, it is six hundred dollars. You, yeah. you don't know if you if you're gonna be airsofting for a long time or or whatever. Yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty huge investment to make. And although you did run an eleven one, do you think that the gun is um, would hold up to an eleven one over a long period of time? Exactly. I don't know. Because yeah. I only ran it for uh, like a couple games on on an eleven one with like a, a twenty amp dump. And you know how to fucking handle your guns too, so you're doing short short bursts and you weren't right holding down the trigger. I wasn't holding down the trigger. Yeah, so I don't know if it would last that long. The shimming sounded pretty good. You could probably hear it in the in-game audio. It didn't sound too bad. And the shimming sound, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. You all know what I'm talking about, but um. So yeah, it's just the price tag, and that's just a big, big issue here. But other than that, it's a good gun, most definitely. And the thing is about the price tag too, if you know, like I said, it's a perfect gun to build off of, you know, for uh, HPA setup. But goddamn, how much are you willing to say how much you spent on your HPA setup? Well, my HPA setup is pretty custom, but uh, so far I'm about fifteen hundred dollars in, including the gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so 1500 bucks you know so it's like even though it's a good set you know good gun to start up you know hpa setup with 1500 bucks or 16 15 that's hella money so it's like you know still i don't know the price tag if the price tag wasn't that high for the gun the base then it wouldn't be you know be so bad on yeah 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 so um Let's see, anything else you want to say about the gun before we close this whole thing out? Because after this... After this, it's going to be a Polar Star video. It's going to be a Polar Star, yeah. So there's, It's not an AEG anymore, let's just say that. Yeah, so there's, there's no, no more M240 AEG videos. After this, it's all M240 Polar Star. Yeah, pretty much. custom Polar Star rig, so... That's why we tried to push all this stuff out before we turned it into an... Or you turned it into an HPA gun, so that we can have everything, you know... From its stock point, you know, right. as you can see what it's like, and I'm pretty sure, you know, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, and we haven't, Woo! you haven't Polar Star yet. Well, you haven't got to be able to test the Polar Star yet. Be able to test the Polar Star. So you can't really compare whether you would want to keep it or not. But right. I'm pretty sure we'll make a video on it while it's Polar Star, and then you can say it then and there. Well, I guess that's just about it. Um, we're gonna head out and. You can finish watching the gameplay if you like. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop it in the comment box below. Uh, it's Misfit 1 and 2. We'll see you guys next time. Or out on the field. Like you always like to say. <laughs> Later. Kill confirmed. <laughs> I didn't see your flashlight blinding me. If I can't, if your flashlight blinds me, I can't see you going like this. Yeah. Fucking pussy ass kids nowadays. <laughs>